Hey guys, Libby News here, and today we are back with more Persona 5, yes. Last time I explored the palace, and um, we got a little bit more context on Futaba and why she has a palace and all of that. Also, I got to try out the um, SP adhesive for the first time, which um, it's kind of funny because the last time I was playing, I was like, yeah, I think I might take it off for a little bit. It feels a little too OP, but once I logged in, I saw Yusuke is so, so freaking low on SP. But now I've decided, you know what? I think I'm gonna equip it onto him too. Since I think he's uh, one of the few people that doesn't have it on. Like, sorry, on. I'll give you a null freeze. Since I bought that for you, specifically. Okay. Yeah, let me go ahead and put that on. On Yusuke. Yeah, the only bad thing about having these on is that, um... Some of these really do come in handy, like Null Fire, Null Ice. But yeah, I'm not really sure if the challenge of this palace is just like people respawning, but that seems to be the biggest difficulty that I'm having so far. Because I just uh, kept having to refight, guys. I think it was mostly uh, my fault for uh, not exploring that first uh, dungeon area all the way through the first time, so I had to like refight a bunch of guys I had fought before. But it definitely happened uh, when trying to solve that puzzle with uh, the door to. I think that might be like specifically the challenge of this palace, and I was thinking that might be why most people <laughs> were um, okay with the SP adhesives. Cause I mean like this palace looks pretty big, like I haven't been to this room which looks fucking huge, or this room which also looks huge, or this room, oh my god look at that thing, it's like a labyrinth, Madarame's palace who? So yeah, oh my god, chamber of I'm gonna fucking die, more like it. So I think I'm just gonna leave him on for now and maybe decide after this palace if I want to use him for the next one or not. And I'll kind of keep thinking about it I guess as I go through too. But yeah, for now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use a couple of things. So I noticed something? that um, a lot of the personas I have are still kind of slightly low level, like uh, 22, 26, and crap like that. Search. Let's see. Oh, Descarabia. Every time I see this guy, just think of like Despacito as his name instead. Oh, good. I confused Despacito. Oh, cool. Like a kind of granite on the back. That's kind of pretty. Got your Illuminati eye. Granite on the back. So cute. Indeed. Oh, hey. Confuse uh, these guys instead. I see. Lilium. A ah. Strong persona indeed. Oh, you're pretty. Yeah, I feel like I still can't really fuse all that much. Uh, I thought since I was 32 now, it's like, oh, I'm gonna be able to fuse so much more, but uh, does not, does not seem like it so far. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and uh, do this one first, just because I don't really use either of these guys that much. Yeah, Despacito. The skills you'd like to inherit. Choose the skills you wish to inherit. Okay, definitely lightning, because I need that. Ooh, increased critical rate for one ally for three turns. Um, That could be good for um trying to get critical from Morgana, so I'm going to do that. I'll have this on me, too. Significant power. Your respective confidant relationship is a rank six. You may see great power. Are you certain this persona is acceptable? Yeah, go ahead. Girls. Let us begin. Good old Patrick Star. I am Decarabia. The power of my star-shaped body shall now become a mask of yours. Behold, the full confidant is awakening your persona's hidden power. Yeah, right. nice. Decarabia has learned a new skill. Maragion. Fire boost. Nice. Perfect. Queen Mab. What the heck is this? this? She looks crazy. Sandman, not Ami no Zume. <laughs> no, not Neko Shogun! Oh my god, the day I have to fuse away Neko Shogun is gonna be the saddest day of my life. I do not want to have to see him before getting his head chopped off. It's too sad. Yeah, I think I'll do this one. Because, um, I mean, I could probably get Isis pretty quickly again. Okay. Choose the skills you wish to inherit. God, will I ever get wind on Weibo? <laughs> I feel like I never will. Um, yeah, why not? Will I'll do it. it. New power? Your respective confidant relationship is a rank one. <laughs> will it receive new power? <laughs> Probably not. Are you certain, Persona? Are you certain this Persona is acceptable? And yeah, do it. My, my. Ah, you got a little tattoo. <laughs> Looks kind of like a sperm. <laughs> why do you have that uh, tattooed on your leg? I'm Lilium. I'll leave the realm of dreams for a while and become your mask. Okay, you weirdo. Behold, the devil confidant is awakening your persona's hidden power. 
Level up. Freeze boost. Oh wait, no. I didn't get it, damn it. Must have been the level after that. Yeah, I noticed uh, none of you guys seem very interested in me hanging out with, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not really all that interested in hanging out with her too though. Not gonna lie. Okay, that looks like uh, that's pretty much it for any new personas I can get. Okay, so let's go say hi to Futaba's creepy shadow. Yes! Yes, it's open! <laughs> we, seem to be, we seem to be pushing our way through the doors of her heart. I don't know if I'd phrase it like that. Anyways, let's keep going. <laughs> Sounds like you're hitting on her. No, I don't think Yusuke's interested in girls. Oh, hey, look at that. You like a save room? Sensation. I was kind of wondering what these rooms are going to be, looking at the map. Hmm. This area seems sound. Let's secure it as our safe room. Yeah. You can now quick travel to Corridor Bottom. Nice. Oh, hey! <laughs> can see it turning into a room. So messy. I expect this would be a great place from which to resume our infiltration. Well. Okay then, let's get a grasp of our current situation. How's our progress? We're not even close. God dang it, what's with her? She totally set us up in that trap. That doesn't necessarily mean she's hostile towards us. There might be a reason for her actions. Yeah, Ryuji's so like, uh, what's the word? Not sympathetic at all. It's definitely some kind of like a bad middle block that she's got. Well, hopefully that becomes clearer the further we go. What are your thoughts? Is there anything else you want to discuss? Okay, uh, how is everyone? Yes. I'm feeling a little off, but don't worry, I can continue. What? You got like full SP and HP. Don't lie. Everyone still seems to have energy, but make sure you pace yourselves, okay? Don't what tell me thoughts? what to do, Morgana. Why did you even click on me if you didn't want my advice, dick? Is there anything else you want to discuss? Okay. Um, oh yeah, we should heal up. I always forget that I have that option okay, now. Let's go. Well, I think we're done here. What's this? Open door. Oh yeah, probably takes you to one of the chambers. Did you notice? I'm sensing shadows. Lots of them. Dear God, how many are in this palace? That's to be expected. We're basically raiding her tomb after all. We'd better be cautious as we go, you guys. True, true. Okay. Chamber of Rejection. These titles are so sad. Oh, whoa. Oh, hey, she's right there. Hey, Shadow Futaba. Oh. Looking extra creepy today. Futaba-chan. So you've come. Follow me. Her dress is pretty, at least. Oh, wait, hold up, Futaba. I'll be there in a second. Oh. Gotta fight these guys first. Damn you, Futaba. Oh, whoa. For real? Holy shit, is she trying to kill us or something? Probably. Wait, look, there's some light above. It's another one of those reflective boards. Indeed. Yes, but unless we can do something about this trap, we will not be able to proceed. Okay. A big puzzle area, basically. Ugh, what a pain in the ass. Not sympathetic at all, Ryuji. Never become a therapist. It's a shadow. But, oh my gosh. Uh, dang, so many traps here. Uh, okay, come back. Come back, guy. Just want to kill you a little bit, or capture you if you're a strong one, you know. Okay. I'm nice. Reveal your true form. Not always a mean guy. Oh, hey. Right. Look at you. Bear of Scales. Ah, level 37. Dang, these dog guys are always strong. Okay, you have curse and bless on you. I like the Egyptian theme. I was thinking too, I was like, uh, does that mean she actually is connected to Medjed the whole time since uh, their whole uh, thing was based off of like an Egyptian god of some sort? So I feel like it would kind of make sense if she actually did have a connection to them that we don't know about. I might just be overthinking that though. Anyways, let's fight this guy. Okay. I'll just try this for now. Oh, hey! <laughs> really? Wow. That was lucky. Oh, critical. Man, I wish I could capture you. I'll just do all out. Will it though, Morgana? <laughs> Why do you always say that when it doesn't end it? Okay, I guess I really did just get lucky with that. I'll see if I get lucky again. Nope. <laughs> really? There we go. I guess I'll just do this for now. Oh no! 
Oh god. You're one of those guys. Now I see. Now I see how you're a piece of shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Use that on me. God, that did a ton of damage to me. Just kill him. Good. Good. Oh, man, I hate it when they have stuff like that. When they have curse on them. Man. How those little angel chicks messed me up that one time. Level 33. Level 32. Nice. Can I actually die from some of these traps? Here we go. I guess it uh, makes sense that all the strongest ones are animals, now that I think about it, since uh, I think all the Egyptian gods are animals, too. Saka Freshimoda! Wow, that was so good! Shut up, Morgana, leave me alone! Hey, another one of these things. Yo, the statue's got a gem. We should take it, yeah? Hold on, there's an inscription on the stone slab here. Anyone? Any who attempts to steal this gem shall be cursed. Curse usually means insta-kill, so I think maybe not. Not grab the stone this time. Dude, we can't let this curse shit get us, right? <laughs> That's never hurt us before. Come on, let's just take it. I saved. Rejection gem. Yeah. Sweet, we got it, let's go. A curse shall befall you. Oh no. What? Go. Oh. Oh god. Whoa, that was too close. It doesn't seem like this is gonna stop anytime soon. Maybe that curse is real after all. Ugh, what the hell are we supposed to do? God dang it. Okay, if I put the stone back, will that go away? Hey, do you want to put back the gym we took earlier? Yeah, put it back. Yeah, we can always come back and get it after if we need. Okay, probably like a certain order we have to get these in. Oh, the atmosphere is kind of different in here now. Could the curse perhaps have been lifted? We should check and see if anything has changed. Here we go. Nice. No more arrows. Oh, hey, look at this. Oh. Hey, it's a button. Do you want to try pressing it, Joker? Press the button. Isn't ah. that... Hmm, the ambiance of that corridor has changed somehow. That might do it. Let's go and see if we can go after Futaba Shadow now. Okay, cool. Got rid of those uh, booby traps too, I guess. Let's hurry, you guys! So happy. So happy Yusuke has booby trap sensing powers. I can feel now. The traps are gone. I feel it in my balls. Too much information, Yusuke. Come on, you wanna take this thing? Okay, let's take this again. Yeah. yeah. Sweet, we got it, let's go. A curse shall befall you. Yeah, save it. Here we go. Black robe. Okay. Oh, wow. That's awful. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I like how it's like a script and binary on the walls rather than hier rather than like a hieroglyphics. I don't know. Seems creative. Oh, whoa. Hmm, it's another Anubis statue. There seems to be an inscription here as well. Let's see. Any who attempts to steal this gem shall be cursed. Wait, it says the same thing. And there's not even a gem here. What the heck? But the statue isn't actually holding a gem. What could be the meaning of this? Hold up, we got one with us. Wanna try putting it in there? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you are uncursed. Hmm, the atmosphere has changed in some intangible way. My booby trap senses are going off. Perhaps the curse has been lifted. That thing wasn't even holding a gem to start with. It ain't fair making us put one in. It don't matter if this is a dog god or whatever. It just ain't fair. Screw the dog god. Ah, here we go. Another one. Happy I grabbed that gem from before. It's a button. Do you think it'll activate something else? Let's press it. Oh, hey, an arrow. Nice. This is amazing. What was that noise? That must have been the ballista. It sounded like it was quite destructive. Okay, let's go find out if anything happened. Here we go. How did I miss this before? Oh, it's locked. Ah, uh, too bad we don't have a lockpick. You wasted all those lockpicks and mementos. You dumbass. <laughs> Thanks, Morgana. Oh, great corridor. So shiny. Uh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> gotta break down this wall too, I guess. What the heck is this? 
black mural. Hey. What's this thing? It looks like some kind of TV screen. There must be some trick to it. Why don't we look around? Yeah, the combination of like a uh, techie stuff in ancient Egypt is interesting. I like it. Hey. There's some kind of control panel here. Should we try doing something with it? Sure. Why not? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this some kind of picture? The design seems to be scrambled somehow. Oh. Maybe it's kind of like a puzzle. Joker, can you change the picture? Oh, great. I'm so great at puzzles, you know. Oh, um... That goes there. That goes in front of that. I think. Wait, no. <laughs> Wait, no. Okay. Those switch. There we go. Yeah. Oh, it's together. What's this a picture of? Yeah, I'm not really sure. People giving her, like, a piece of paper? Are those the people that seem to blame her for her mom's death? I guess. What's this a picture of? I see. This adult seems to be reading something to a crying child. Hmm, the emotions of the artist are often depicted in the art they produce. I can sense serious pain harbored in her heart. Adult man's voice. I should have never... I should never have had Futaba. Oh. Hmm. Is that coming from the mural? Her father, maybe? She was always such a bother. It seems you caused your mother a great deal of trouble, Futaba-chan. I'm guessing it's the father. She must have had some kind of maternity neurosis. Oh, is that why she blames herself? There we go. Yay, unlocked. Oh, what was that? Based on its contents, it sounded almost like a suicide note. Oh, suicide note. I was thinking it was, um, I guess just like what people told her as to why her mother killed herself. It would make sense if she left behind a note of some sort, though. Could that be what Futaba remembers of her mother's suicide? Again. But that's a fucking sick thing to do to a kid if that's really how it all went down. Yeah, seriously. I kind of want to know what's up with her mom. Like, I don't know. Seems like... I just seem so fucked up to kill yourself in front of your daughter the way she did. Indeed. We have opened the second door, but the mystery is only intensified. There's no doubt we're getting closer to the treasure. Come on, let's keep moving. This looks usable. Yeah. Let's take. You can now quick travel to corridor middle. Oh, sweet! Already halfway. I expect this would be a great place from which to resume our infiltration. Okay, next chamber. Wow, <laughs> one of these things right off the bat. Um. A stone slab. When red and blue align, an illusion will arise. Only proper guidance shall form a path. Okay, when red and blue align. Huh, what is that? Huh, what is it talking about? I haven't the slightest idea. It may be a hint of some kind. That's what I'm guessing. Oh, I can't break it? Really? Huh. Oh, hey. You're late. What took so long? You made this place too confusing. <laughs> Ugh, that's it? I've had it up to here with her. <laughs> so what? Her mom killed herself. She shouldn't have all these issues, you know. Ryuji, never become a therapist. Wait, it's shaking. Ah. Oh god. Hey, wait. Shoot, this is bad. Get back. Run, run, run. Oh my god, we're screwed. I'm so sick of this bullshit. What the hell is she thinking? It's kind of interesting that it's like a... She'll say like, you know, hey, follow me. But then her palace says something entirely different. I think that could symbolize, I guess, the mental block she has. I'm assuming as much. Okay, let's try this hmm. first. This seems to be the backside of that giant boulder trap. We should survey this place. Okay. All these coffins, oh. And random things falling. Oh, hey, um, can't click on it? Good lord, Joker, everything's falling. Magic ointment. Uh, it's one of those things that, uh, protects against, like, everything. Forms a barrier on one ally that reflects all magic except almighty. Yes! I love those. Button. Mm. A button and a slab, huh? There's nothing visible on the slab. What do you think we should do? Always press the button. Oh, wait. Hmm. Nothing is happening. That's odd. Is it broken, or could there be another step to this me mechanism? Okay. 
Something that has to do with red and blue, I guess? Okay, this looks like a blue door. Don't think we can open it, though. Yep. It does not seem to be opening. I assume this is some type of special door. When red and blue meet. Guessing that'll come in handy pretty soon. Another door over here, it looks like. This one's not fancy. Oh, hey, another slab. Hey. There's a stone slab here, too, but there's nothing legible inscribed on its surface. Sounds pretty useless to me. What do you want to do, Joker? Let's take a closer look. We should check somewhere else. Let's take a closer look. Oh, hey. Look at that. Oh, it's shining. Huh, the device controlling the mural seemed to react to a similar in a similar fashion. Hey, look at this. Something showed up. It says B01010. Okay, it's like binary kind of. That may be a clue of some sort. Either way, we should search to see if anything has changed. Nice. Hopefully it helped that slab outside. That one's blue too. I guess there's a red one as well. Wait! Oh, what the? Oh. Oh, whoa. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Looks all, uh, Star Wars-y. So this thing's link to the stone slab is what powers it. Indeed. Quite the impressive contraption. Why don't we examine it closer? Oh, hey, this is light. This looks like it, uh, is lit hey. enough now. Huh, the slab over here is shining too. Was it not doing that earlier? It's because we pressed the thing. It is the same color as the one from further in. There must be some meaning to all of this. Press the button. I uh, probably should have checked the slab first. My bad. What? Uh. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Wait, did the security level just go up? Was that a trap? No, I don't think so. I think Joker screwed up. Hey, no need to call me out like that. There's probably more to this device than just pushing the button. Damn it, what are we supposed to do here? Okay, let's uh, read the slab. It looks like. The message B01010 is inscribed upon it. What could that mean? Hey. It seems the hologram is coming from this coffin. Should we try fiddling with the control panel? Let's do it. Always choose to fiddle with things. Whoa. Oh, it turned off. Try touching it again, Joker. And it's back on again. I see. I see, so it's possible to turn it back on as well. It looks like we should be able to turn the holograms on or off by accessing each control panel. Do you think this is related to that code from earlier? Most definitely. I'm not really sure how exactly that works, though. How am I supposed to say the code with these things? I don't know, I guess maybe I turn off the ones? Oh wait, that one's blue over there. Huh, unlike on the other one, there's no control panel here. The color of this hologram is different as well, it's blue. That might be pointing us towards what we need to do. Blue, you know, that sounds familiar. Okay, so I'm guessing B stands for blue, so it's uh, B01010. So I'm guessing you turn off the ones that are supposed to be zero? That's what I would assume, at least. Okay. Turn off this one. Okay, I think that's it. There's a button in a stone slab here. Let's try to press it. Was that right? Oh, hey, it was. Neato. Yes! Ah, the door opened. I suppose this is the first step in this process. The next device must be beyond this point. <sighs> By the way, what's up with these things? Are they all because of Futaba-chan's mental state? Yeah, some kind of mental block, I assume. It's hard to say, but it does prove that she might not be as simple a target as we were hoping she'd be. Hmm. I wonder about the meaning behind that stone slab as well. Wait. Yeah, seemed kind of messed up. Here, your path's open now. Can we just keep going? I want to stop talking about this emotional crap, man. Stamina sash. Oh, it's like an SP thing, I guess. Gives your stamina a small boost. Okay, I have another one that's like that, too. Yeah. Mine, Joker. Not nearly as good as the uh, SP adhesive, though. No offense. Hey! Look, there's a stone slab here, too. Touching this one will probably activate it, too. What do you want to do, Joker? Touch it. I'ma touch everything. Seems to work out so far. Besides, you know that one time. We would slid up now, just like we were expecting. Oh, new code. New code for blue, too. They say R01100 and B10011. If this code is similar to the prior one, 
these would surely be hints for those buttons. To be honest, it somewhat reminds me of binary. It makes sense, given Futaba-chan's hacker background. Well then, let's go see if anything has changed. Now, oh. Ah, look! The red stuff gonna come up now? Oh. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> there we go. Something changed in the room, just like we expected. There should be some connection between that and the code that appeared on the stone slab. Okay, cool. Then 1-1, one, one. so... That should be it on that side. Red, zero, one, one. Yeah, so turn off this one. Looks like almost the, the opposite versions of each other, pretty much. The stone slab changed color. It's red now, too. Seems to have reacted to the slab further in. What should we do, Joker? Press it. Screw reading the button. Oh, oh well, what's going on? This is a stronger reaction than anything up to this point. Oh my god, we're all gonna die. Guys, look. Oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> They're just gonna run through all of them? Are those giant boulders rolling down the corridor? How many did she have prepared? On, Dear man. God. Dude, they ain't stopping. Is this gonna be okay? Let's push it again. What should we do? Let's try it again. Uh. Oh no! <laughs> oh, they only made it worse! Oh God! Do something about this, Joker! Uh. Oh God, am I dead? Uh. Did I do the right thing or not? I can't tell. Did it stop? Don't tell me. This is what the stop could have meant by form a path. I guess that wasn't right. I think I did these. Right? Why don't we go check and see what's happened to the corridor? Okay. Okay, so that was right? <laughs> wasn't sure for a second. I thought Makoto was like, yeah, this is exactly what the freaking path thing was talking about, Joker. You screwed that up. Oh, whoa. Collapse exit. Are uh, you kidding me? The boulder is stuck, so we can't get out. It'll be impossible to pass through this way. We'll have to find another path. Okay. I think it's up here. Okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> Just jump Whoa. on the boulders now, I guess. God dang. Talk about a mess. It's broken. Well, I guess it would be a little more precise to say we broke it. Hey. We can't get through like this. What are we going to do? Perhaps we could walk over the giant boulders? Let's try it. That's what I'm talking about. Do it the fun way. <laughs> Heck yes. Woo. How do I get down? Oh, there we go. Oops, good thing I'm Assassin's Creed. Another thingy. Oh, and another thingy. Wow, two of them. Oh, here we go. Great corridor. So shiny. Another puzzle, looks like. Reflective panel. This is the same mechanism as the one we saw before. Then we just gotta touch it and make something happen, yeah? Come on, let's try it out. Oh gosh, this one looks sad. I guess her memory of the accident as it happened like immediately. Oh hey, it came on. This one's kinda hard to tell though. It must be scrambled as well. Let's use the controls to put it back together. Ah oh, man, poor Futaba. Okay, these two connect for sure. Oh, it's like I can hear uh, car noises in the background. Ah, oh, poor, poor Futaba. So fucked up. Uh, oh, I can rotate it too. Okay, cool. Okay, then these need to be rotated. I was wondering, I was kind of confused for a second. There we go. Okay, got it. it. Seems it is complete. Is she jumping in front of a car? Could this be the moment when Futaba's mother committed suicide? Oh, another voice. Young woman's voice. Futaba, you are... Ugh. Guess that was the mom. Another door. <sighs> she died right in front of Futaba's eyes. That's horrible. So did her desire to forget those memories cause her to repress them? Yeah, repressed memories are weird. Crazy, like a, I don't know, what you can almost make yourself forget or misremember. Another door. All right, it opened. That was a breeze. We're pretty far in now, right? This has to be past halfway. This does seem to be pretty short so far. Yeah, the treasure is definitely close. You better be excited. I am excited, Morgana. Yeah. 
I think we still have the uh, Chamber of Sanctuary. Huh. Looks like we can use this place to rest. You can now quick travel to Corridor Summit. And we should be able to resume our infiltration from this place in the future. Well. Okay then, let's get a grasp of our current situation. How's our progress? Hey. It feels like we've come pretty far. I think we should reach the deepest part soon enough. Wait, if we're climbing the stairs, so that does that make it the highest part? Either way, the treasure is getting close. I just hope there's not much left. I absolutely agree. Yeah, I think we have uh, one more area at least. Because uh, we haven't been to the Chamber of Sanctuary yet. Is there anything else you want to discuss? It does seem pretty short so far compared to the others since we only needed one map. How is everyone? Yes. I'm feeling a little off, but don't worry, I can't continue. You said that earlier. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't really come in handy very much. <laughs> yeah. I feel like uh, these in most video games are pretty handy. What are like to thoughts? save or to heal at save points, but I don't know. Shall I always just go? heal myself right after I get low, so have not had any need for those whatsoever. The next place. Here we go. Wonder what uh, her sanctuary is. Like her room, I guess? She also saw it as like her tomb. I guess sanctuary for her is being alone, but at the same time, it's torture as well. Pretty. Wow. What a wonderful form. Seeing such divine sculptures in person is exceedingly rare. Yeah, this is the first palace that they've actually complimented. Like, oh wow, this is some pretty nice, pretty nice decor. They like, uh, they only trash talk Kaneshiro's and Madarame's and Kamashita's for, for good reason. Yeah, I guess you probably wouldn't be seeing anything like this shit if we weren't in a palace. Seriously, this almost feels like a trip abroad or something. Hey, now's not the time to be letting your guard down. I can sense lots of shadows up ahead. Stop admiring this. It's horrible. Oh, hey, treasure. Joker. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh my oh. god, it's so locked. Can't believe how locked it is. That's like the most locked treasure I've ever seen, Joker. Ever. Okay, Morgana, I think we get it. Ever. Revival bead, nice. Okay, buddy, come on. <laughs> don't see anything, don't see anything. Don't see anything. Okay, heading back. Show me your true form. Not this guy. I don't know what his weakness is, but this works out pretty well, so I'll just keep doing this. As long as critical works on him, I will keep doing that. Yeah, these areas look a lot bigger on the maps. I feel like it's uh, pretty quick to get through them all, though. Oh, nothing here. Giant hole. Hey, we should jump down there, guys, right? Whoa, this is deep. What the heck is this? It's not a distance. We'll be able to jump either. What should we do? Let's jump in. Wait, Morgana, why didn't you give me a choice? Come on now. I think that was a great idea. Hmm, a switch. It doesn't seem as though there are any active traps at the moment, though. Yeah, let's press it anyways. Oh, I sense a trap now. Damn you, Yusuke, and your booby trap sensing abilities. Hey, did something just move? I wonder what it was. It didn't feel very far away. Oh, hey. Level up for Morgana and for Makoto. New skill. Like Meteorama. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, modern HP recovery to all allies? Yes, yes, thank you very much. I will take that for sure. Yeah, I'll just get rid of media. I rarely use that anyway, so I think it's okay. Dakunda. Nullify stat debuffs for all allies. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of this. Okay. Dakunda. Dust crusted gear. That sounds like something I'm gonna have to wash. Yep. Sounds about right. Why is that in a treasure chest? Seems like trash. You should have those in like garbage cans instead. Let's see. Oh wow, still got still got a decent bit more, it seems like. I don't know, it feels like I go through these areas so fast. Compared to like a Kaneshiro's and Kamashitas. We can get it. I haven't really tried anything on this guy. I think I just was kinda like, yeah, you know, fuck it. Um, I kind of want to see if that works. I feel like I should be trying more stuff on you, you know? I'll just see if I can get a critical on you again. Nope. 
Dang, I was getting so lucky for a little while. <laughs> okay. I hate this guy. He's such a piece of shit. Okay. Even just his normal attacks just like fuck me up so bad, I feel like. Um, what have I not tried? I haven't tried fire on you or electricity. Let's see. Eh, I really feel like you don't have a weakness. Okay, good. As long as he's dead, I'm cool. Oh, hey, it's one of those things. Need some orbs, I guess. Hey, I've seen this thing before. It looks like where you put those gems from the dog statues earlier. Okay, we'll just need to get another shining gem. Sounds good. So many areas I haven't been to before, I feel like. Hey, hey there's some kind of button here. You want to press it? Hell yeah, always press the buttons. It's worked out for us so far. Okay, cool. It seems so there was a passage hidden behind the wall. I wonder if there's a way back there. I've already been back there. Oh wait, no, that's a different area. I thought that was uh, another place I had gone to. I think I got it confused with uh, uh, that place right over there. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to get there. It's somewhere. Oh, hey. That's shining for some reason. Oh, you got a little bird face, too. This is um, This coffin has a different design than the others. Does it not make you wonder why? That is odd. Why don't you check it out? Like a secret passageway, maybe? Let's do it. Always do the things. Oh, hey, a button. Whoa, I can't believe you saw through that trick. Got my super special powers. Ooh, that's gotta be a secret button or something. Let's try pushing it. Okay. I don't know, I feel like if we were in an actual ancient Egyptian pyramid, we would die so quickly from all these buttons and stuff that we press. Usually I feel like these are like uh, traps. What was that? I just heard something. Maybe I just... I'm thinking too much about like Indiana Jones or something. Press this button. Hey. Huh, it looks like this coffin is open now. Do you want to try pressing the button? Do it. Hey. I moved. Hey, here we go. Now we got it. Oh, uh, this is that Anubis statue. Huh, and there's that shining gem. Come on, let's nab it. Take it. Sanctuary gem. No curse hey. warning or anything, Anubis? Thanks, buddy. Happy we can get along now. Sweet, we got it. Let's go. Okay, let's see what this does. We're supposed to put that thing from the dog god in here, right? Let's hurry up and stick it in. That's what he said. Insert the gem. This pathway of light is quite impressive. It seems we'll be able to pass over it. It's not gonna disappear while we're crossing it, right? This is a little scary. Only one way to find out. <laughs> Half the roads here do disappear, though. Here we go. Seems more sturdy than, I don't know, the regular floor here. It's always just kind of crumbling randomly. Oh, man. Oh. oh my god, so locked. I have to come back here later, won't ya? Won't ya, Weebo? Spy Joker. Oh, hey. Why don't we look for it? Nice. This is a pretty big area. So I am glad. Hmm. This area seems sound. Let's secure it as our safe room. We can now quick travel to the Chamber of Sanctuary. Neat. Hmm, we should be able to resume our infiltration from this place in the future. Cool. Good. Thank God. <laughs> well. Okay, then. Let's get a grasp of our current situation. How's our progress? You got Not much further now. I'm getting a strong signal from the treasure. So the formative art of this place is coming to an end. I feel somewhat reluctant to leave it. Yeah, it seems like this is the first palace they actually like. Or think it's pretty. But we gotta make this place disappear, for Futaba's sake. That's the first time I've seen you say something nice about this, Ryuji. That is true, though it is worth noting. Those who endure hardship tend to produce beautiful art. You know, Fox and Futaba-chan might be more alike than we thought. They're both what weirdos. Is there anything else you want to discuss? How is everyone? Yes. I may be somewhat tired at the moment, but there are a few issues. I can't continue fighting if need be. Everyone seems to have energy. Just make sure to pace yourselves. What are your thoughts? Stop rushing this. You're killing your friends, we Weibo. You're killing them. It's worth it, Morgana. It's worth it. Got Let's it. go back. 
Oh man, I'm probably gonna have to refight those guys if I go back into that one area, aren't I? That sucks. Oh, whoa. whoa. Hey, you're here. Wait up, look, there she is. It suck if we had to go through hell again because we walked up to her without thinking first. So what's your call? You wanna keep going? Um, just a second. Yes. I wanna explore uh, the rest of the area first. I was kind of wondering if we were gonna actually send a calling card for this palace or not. Or if we'll just kind of fight her straight up and then get the treasure. I'm not really sure if there's a huge point of sending her a calling card compared to the previous ones, you know? Not a bad idea. We don't lose anything by being careful. We're in a palace after all. True, true. Why do you hate us so much, Futaba? Just want everyone to be friends. Why is this red? <laughs> Why is this wall red? Seems kind of strange. Yeah, I don't know how to get up there. She's probably gonna give us more tasks first before we fight the big boss or whatever. I'm not 100% sure though if we'll send a calling card or not. This is so different than the other palaces. Not sure how this works. So Joker, what now? Let's go. Okay, okay but we should be careful. She's gonna kick our ass. You're late. I thought all of you had died. <laughs> we almost did, thanks to you. I mean, do you really want to help us? Make your goddamn mind. I'm not sure. There's not much left. There's not much left at this point, though. Uh, oh, not again. This is all because you picked on her skull? Stop being such a douche. Yep. Boss battle. Your short temper has created more work for us. Try to be empathetic for once. Jeez. This is my fault? He has been kind of a jerk the whole time. Like, I don't know. Try to understand, dude. Who dares intrude upon the peace of this holy ground? This is a Pharaoh's tomb. None may disturb her slumber. <sighs> no, we can't retreat now. We'll just have to do this. Damn you, Skull. Always fucking up everything for us. You're not even in our main party. Oh, hey. My skills will be nullified, so be Oh, you're the guy. So you're the guy we fought before. Cool. I'll just try this. Just want to hit everybody if I can. Did I miss both of them? God, Makoto, that was awful. Okay, let's do this. Man, that does not do anything. Let's go ahead and do medium ice damage. Nice one, Fox. Wasn't he weak to win too? Oh, whoa! What the heck? I already. I've done you before, though, right? I've done you, like, a ton of times. You're weak to wind, I think. Why? I don't understand why it does that sometimes. I'm pretty sure he's weak to wind. I can't move. You want someone else. Ah, balls. Just try and kill you. There we go. I feel like I should try to heal Makoto if I can. Oh, <laughs> you got your little mask on still! That's so cute! Oh my god. That's adorable. Here we go. All out. Not sure if that'll really do much, but you know, gotta try. There we go. Makoto is rattled. I'm uh, just gonna keep summoning people, aren't they? That's bullshit. <laughs> Makoto is rattled. <laughs> That's so adorable. At least this guy's a dumbass. <laughs> Keeps trying to turn the same people into rats. He did that the last time I fought him too. Okay, let's just uh, normal attack him. Nice. Yeah, lots of money. Level up. Oh, Flora's leveled up. On, a new skate, too. Ambient aid. All skill slots are full. Greatly increases success rate of ailments during rain, pollen, or flu. Oh. Um, honestly, I never go anywhere when it's raining, so I think it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll be all right. Okay, what did you get? Temptus <laughs> Slash. Minuscule physical damage to one foe three to five times. Oh, um, I think I'm okay without this one too. That's not that good. Minuscule damage? Eh, I'm good. Pretty much always have double things on Weibo, so I think it's all right. Damn it, the hell's up with her. Can you just try to calm down? Nothing good will come of letting your temper flare up like that. Stop being a dick, okay? She did say there's not much left, though. The end of this palace may be drawing close. He almost thought that was the boss battle for a second. Got a little bit more to go through, though, it seems. Okay. Oh, another one of these things. 
Wasn't there something like this before? You know when we had to use that shining gem from Anubis? Hmm, we will need to obtain another one. Very well, let us go search for it. Okay, place over here too. Here it is. Kinda hiding on me a little bit. Look, there's another Anubis statue. And it has one of those shining things, just like before. We can probably just use it on that pedestal thing. Let's swipe it, Joker. Yeah, take it. Thanks, Anubis. You're the bomb. Okay, we've got it now. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. They always come back. Always come back for me. We're supposed to put that gem from that statue here, right? Let's give it a try. See what this does. Oh, another walkway. <laughs> hmm, this sight brings a tear <laughs> to my eye yet again. You're so freaking weird, dude. <laughs> hey, that's what makes him charming, okay? That's why we love him. <laughs> Yusuke is kind of a weirdo. That's why I love him. Why he's the best boy. Probably. I don't know who the best boy is, actually. There's too many, too many good ones to choose from. I see the light. Joker! A treasure chest! Nice. What? Ignis Ring. Oh, I love Final Fantasy. Uh, I think I already have this one. Yep. Reduce fire damage medium. The light calls for me. Okay, cool. Whoa. Oh, what is that? That's pretty interesting. It looks so pretty. I really like the design of this palace. Very pretty. Do you feel like this one and Madarame's are the prettiest so far? I don't know, I just like the techie style mixed with uh, ancient Egypt. Looks so cool. Time-worn armor. I'm not even gonna look at that one. Wash out the laundromat, Joker. I know, I know. Oh my god, another one? How many rooms are there? Oh my god. So bright, so beautiful. Okay, here we go. Hey. We all should display on the front wall now, right? I'd expect so, Joker, if you please. I gotta do everything. Aren't you supposed to be the smart one, Makoto? Wait, what? I can't even begin to tell what this one is. <laughs> all you, Joker. We're just gonna sit on our asses. It may be a rather difficult puzzle for us to solve. <laughs> you say us like I'm not gonna be the only one to solve this thing. Aw, little baby Futaba. Oh, poor thing. So cute. Okay, yeah. It's like her computer area. Aw, <laughs> Futaba's so cute. Oh my god. Such a fucking waifu. I know I call everybody my waifu, but this is different. Probably. Okay, we finished it. A child pulling on her mother's clothes. Mom. Oh, more voices. I'm I'm tired of eating dinner alone all the time. It's always just convenient store bentos. I want to go somewhere. Take me on a trip. Okay, did she make her mom take her on a trip and then somehow like I don't know. It's just that they say she committed suicide. You know, like saying she willingly killed herself. Because I was gonna say maybe she died in like an accident on a trip, but. But that doesn't make sense either. The one clinging to her mother would be Fatabachan, right? Don't be so selfish. You wouldn't... You know I'm working hard to support you, right? Ugh. No. Oh. Yeah, I kind of wondered if maybe her mom was, like, mean or something. Like... I don't know. <sighs> she seemed pretty angry. Like, um, I was kind of thinking this uh, in the last video. That uh, maybe her mom was, like not a great person and that she did blame Futaba for wanting to take her own life because she had to give up her dream or she had to work extra hours to take care of Futaba or something along those lines. That's horrible if she did do that but that's kind of what I'm thinking might be the case. Is that the maternity neurosis the voice from earlier mentioned? Oh okay. I guess she maybe had that that made her act that way? I don't know I've never heard of that before. I thought it was pretty normal for a child to want to spend time with her parents though. Again. Yeah, it looks like Futaba was a pretty lonely kid growing up. Yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with what you said, Futaba. So these incidents compounded, forcing her mother to suicide. Aw. I must die. Aw. Poor thing. I feel so bad for her. I know I say that about everyone, but I really do. Huh? I killed her. That's why I'm here in this tomb. <laughs> don't say that. Yeah. I will die. Futaba-chan! 
Why did she get so quiet all of a sudden? What happened to that snarky personality? Could her heart perhaps be growing weaker? Yeah, I was wondering if what we're doing here is like messing with her in the real world. We have to hurry and save her! God, I hope she doesn't start to feel suicidal. It's almost what it seems like, though. Wanting to die here and all, you know? It's open, but what's this? Looks like a door of some sort. Private, don't enter. Caution, caution. Hey, this ain't opening. Think there's a way to open it somewhere else? Maybe. Hmm. This door... Looks like the door to her actual room. It looks familiar. Yeah. Oh, Futaba's room! Yeah. That's it! Why ain't it opening? It must be her cognition that no one can enter it. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised that you made it this far. <laughs> the little face on the private do not enter sign is cute. Oh! <laughs> That's adorable. It's so angry looking. Beyond lies the Pharaoh's chamber. So the treasure's still here? Indeed. However, you need my permission to open this door. You gonna help us out at all, Futaba? Then open it for us! I don't know, I don't think she is. I cannot. You must have her invite you in. Oh. Is it like the hallucination of her mother? What the F? Ain't this your palace? What's she mean, Mona? The shadow is Futaba, but not Futaba herself. Okay, so it's like actual Futaba has to let us in. In other words, we need the real Futaba's permission. Yeah. So we need to have Futaba-chan open her room and let us in? Considering that you made it all the way here, you may be able to do it. I hope so. I hope this didn't mess with her anymore. Looks like we'll have to return to reality once. I remember Boss saying that she won't let anyone in. Right. She's a serious shut-in. How will we convince her to allow us entry? Standing around here won't help. We'll just have to give it a try. That's what she wants, after all. Yeah. I think that we should do it too, even if it means we have to force ourselves in. Someone sure is stoked about this. <laughs> We have no choice but to sneak in again. Joker, it's your call when we do this. Okay, so we do kind of have to send a calling card. Or do something kind of like a calling card, it seems like. Make sure you think of some excuses just in case boss catches us. Sounds good. Leave it to me. I'm not sure about this. He won't catch us. Not in my Someone life. sure is confident for no reason. <laughs> I'm always confident for no reason. On that note, is everyone clear on what needs doing? Oh, that reminds me. Give me the calling card. The one Alibaba sent us. Oh, yeah. We can send her that one. What are you going to do with it? We're the Phantom Thieves, you know. We gotta announce this. If the treasure's there when we get the room open, giving this to her will let us take it right away. Queen, help me think of what to write. Yeah. I suppose. We got this covered. You decide on a good time we barge into a room. That's all you. Sounds good. Yeah, so we do do a calling card. Wasn't 100% sure if we would. Just since the uh, circumstances are so uh, different than usual. We've secured our route to the treasure. Do you want to get out of here? Return to the real world. Now returning to the real world from Futaba's palace. Thank you for your hard work. Yeah. Did everything. Oh my god, it keeps going. <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought it was never gonna end. So many things. Yeah. Yes. We finally secured our route to the treasure. All we need to do now is send the calling card. Okay. Indeed, we have finished the pre-arrangements. And now we shall face the true test. But this is no time to panic, Joker. Let us ensure we succeed after having come so far. Yeah. The SP adhesive did help a lot. <laughs> I think I could have gotten through without it, but um, it definitely made things a lot easier. I don't know if I'll use it next time or not. I guess I'll think about it. Or maybe uh, not use it for like the whole palace like I did for this one. What's going to happen if we hit Medjed's deadline? 
I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something about it. And <laughs> now we're just kind of screwing around with my new waifu. I'm sure it'll all fix itself, though. We don't even know who Medjet is. What can they do about it? August 21st is the deadline, right? I can't wait. I can't wait for Medjed to ruin my life. Ah, oh, man, we have to wait a whole month? Ah, you're back. Yeah. Calling cards ready. That was fast. I just kind of scribbled on a little bit. I figured, you know, might as well just wing this one. I mean, I already wrote three of them before this, remember? Oh god, Ryuji's writing it. He's gonna be such a jerk. Just stop being depressed, Futaba. Here's your calling card. Oh, Ryuji, please. Please stop. But I came up with almost all of the sentences. Okay, good. Makoto came up with the whole thing. It was like, Ryuji has not been very sensitive with this whole scenario, so it might be best if Makoto writes it, or just anybody else, pretty much. You don't gotta mention that. Jeez. Smooth, Ryuji. The real question here is when we should go to Futaba's room. Well, um, I think our leader should decide. Look who's a smooth one now. It really should be up to him though, don't you think? Absolutely, we have no choice but to carry this out. It's all on you, Weibo. There you have it. Sounds like a pretty important task got pushed on to you. As usual. No point in thinking about it now, though. We just gotta do it. Once you've made up your mind, just give the order as usual at the hideout. Yeah, sounds good. Gonna do it immediately, like I always do. Next, we have some news on Medjed, whose statements have caused quite a stir. After issuing their second statement, people are concerned about an impending cyber attack. The Phantom Thieves, however, continue to remain silent. This is really getting to be a big deal. I want to just go and take Medjet out, but... Yeah, we really can't unless Futaba helps us. Hey, let's do something for summer since the fireworks got cancelled. Ah, uh, what about the beach? I could buy a new... I could buy a new swimsuit. There's nothing to do at the beach and it's going to be hot. We should just go to the movies. Ah, oh, what a buzzkill. Well, thanks for the coffee. Break up with him. I don't trust anybody who doesn't like the beach. You must be tired after today. Let's go to sleep. Nothing else to do. Nothing. Oh. Huh? Who could that be at this hour? Oh. Since it's summer vacation, I'll be heading to LeBlanc tomorrow afternoon. The cafe is cool and quiet. It's relaxing with the Sayuri there. It's a peaceful place. I'm thinking of relaxing and reading a book. Moreover, we can easily meet up. Should something occur, we can kill two birds with one stone. Oh, weird. I feel like uh, I should always send the calling card immediately, but uh, you guys also said it's best to accept these whenever you can, too. Uh, I feel like I probably should. I'm not really sure. If you'd like, we can spend some time together. Ooh, a date. Yusuke's coming tomorrow, huh? Might be nice to hang out with him. Yeah, and I'm going to bed. Oh, I didn't get a choice. <laughs> You're going on a date with me, and that's that. Get over it. I am so sick of going to stupid palaces whenever you say so. Thanks, Yusuke. So sweet. Hey. There's 25 days left before Medjed's deadline. Aren't you going to send the calling card? I thought Yusuke was coming hey. over. Hey, Weibo, one of your friends is here to visit. Yeah, that's what I... <laughs> like, what are you talking about, Morgana? I already got plans with my boyfriend. Sounds like Yusuke's here. Come on, let's go downstairs. Inviting a confidant to your room. Ooh. If your confidant sends you a message prior, they might visit LeBlanc and you can invite them to your room to spend time with them. Oh, okay. Hey. Hey, shouldn't you? Hey, shouldn't you tell the others about what Mishima told you? Dear God, Morgana, how much crap do you want me to do today? Everything. So humid. The heat's not letting up, even with all this rain. Um. Haven't decided yet. On Discovery Town Detectives, today is our special feature on summer vacation date spots. Right now, we're here at the planetarium in Ikibukuro. Looking up and seeing a sky full of stars is so romantic, and the atmosphere here is so smoothing. <laughs> it's kind of funny. When you live in a big city like this, you'd have to literally go to a planetarium to see the stars. Kind of sad in a way. Such a magical place. If you want to get close to someone, this is the date spot to visit. We've got one more place to introduce in our summer special feature. You've been living under a rock if you've never heard of this one. It's Destiny Land in Mahiyama. Mahama. I totally butchered that name, didn't I? As usual, it's packed with people. It's a captivating world of dreams and hope. I've always dreamed of going there with a girlfriend. I've always dreamed of having a girlfriend in general. It really feels like a place of destiny. Oh, there he is.
I'll talk to him really quickly. Hi. I have been waiting here for you. What the hell has taken so long? Are you standing me up? Oh, and I brought an art book. I would like to read with you. I may be able to improve my charm if I read a book with Yusuke. Oh, okay. Um, I think I might go ahead and do it, honestly, then. And then just send the calling card tomorrow, because I feel like these are really good. Furthermore, this may be a good chance to deepen my bond with him. If we are not planning to infiltrate today, why don't we search for ideas between the pages of this book? Um, yeah, let's do it. Why not? <laughs> Perfect, I knew you would agree. In that case, I will head to your room. Yeah, have a slumber party! Hmm. This room is quite comfortable, just as I thought. It does remind me of my atier. This is also a fine place to relax and enjoy a good book. Yes, I'll be visiting more often. You know, I never asked. What kind of art do you like? I like pretty art, comforting stuff, a bit of everything. Um, a bit of everything? I see. Yes, of course. You judge art on a piece-by-piece -piece basis, not genre. I've been blind this whole time. <laughs> He's so dramatic. Looking at something without any preconceived notions. Is this what it means to ask the heart? Thank you for sharing your opinion. It was enlightening. <laughs> so cute. I read with Yusuke while talking about art. I feel like I was able to refine my artistic sensibilities. Yusuke is so charming. Point up! Yeah. Right. Weavo's charm has improved. You have my oh, look at the time. Now then. My throat is quite dry. It calls out for the soothing warmth of coffee, perhaps due to the lingering aroma of this room. I think coffee dehydrates you, dude. Could I possibly bother you to make a fresh cup for me? You'll get closer to your friends if you spend more time with them, but it will also take up your evening. Oh. Should I spend more time with Yusuke? Um, will it help me boost uh, more social stats too? Yeah, let's do it, Yusuke. What did you say? Oh, I am truly in your debt. I do like Yusuke a lot. He's pretty funny. Oh. You look magnificent, but I believe anyone can look competent with the correct attire. I wish you could uh, romance the guys too. Could just see him acting so awkward. I feel like it would be really cute. Yusuke's gaze is intense. He seems to have high expectations. Do it exactly as I was taught. Put some love into it, hell yeah. Indeed. I'm gonna find a way to romance you, Yusuke. I don't care if the game tries to stop me. Uh, what a lovely aroma. <coughs> <laughs> what is this? I've never tasted coffee like this. It's my love. <laughs> Does my love not taste good, Yusuke? Damn it. <laughs> An idea has dawned on me. Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> At least I got uh, some sort of boost with you, though. No, I'm sure this is the flavor of real coffee. My tastes just aren't refined enough yet. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, man. We drank coffee and enjoyed a leisurely conversation. Nice. Let us part ways here. Hmm, time has truly flown by. I should get going. That was fun. I'm not sure if that was the most efficient use of my time, but... It was still fun. Oh gosh, somebody else gonna text me? No, I'm going to the palace tomorrow. Leave me alone. Huh, who could that be at this hour? I'm gonna hang out at your place tomorrow during the day. Why are you guys all trying to distract me from the palace? If I'm at the hideout, I can move out whenever. Oh, I'll bring some manga so you don't need to worry about me. See ya. Oh my god, you have so many boyfriends. Ryuji's coming over tomorrow? Huh going to be noisy all day. Yeah, and I'm going to sleep. Yeah, that was fun, but I'm not really sure how how efficient it was. I guess I got an SP drink, but I don't know. <laughs> it was mostly just fun to hang out with Yusuke. Have the fan of these made their move yet? I don't get it. Are they just gonna ignore them? I'm sure they're working on it. We're gonna be in trouble if they don't do anything. I wish they'd take care of it already. You guys are all so impatient. Just let me have some time to hang out with my boyfriends first. Yuji, what are you doing? It's her again. How much longer are you going to make me wait? Hey, okay, I just wanted to hang out with Yusuke. Give me a break. Do you not care about me reporting you to the police? 
Oh, are you still going on about that? Whoa, slow down. Just give us a little more time. I can't do that. We're trying our best here. If you truly cannot wait any longer, go ahead and report us. Do it, bitch. Hey! Humph, maybe I can give you a little more time. Maybe? <laughs> oh my god, we're screwed. Alibaba doesn't know what's happening, so I'm sure she's getting anxious. We'll just have to try and appease her for a while. Hey, hey Weebo, one of your friends is here to visit. Trying to distract me from doing my work. Sounds like Ryuji's here. Come on, let's go downstairs. Hey, Hey, shouldn't you tell the others about what Mishima told you? One second, Morgana, jeez. Everyone's always so mean to me. Although they left clues, hacker group Medjet has not made the target of their next attacker clear. According to experts, there are many corporations that could be potential targets. Companies managing public transports and other utilities are pressured to take countermeasures. Medjet is so creepy. They're really making a big mess out of all of this. Sorry, Ryuji. Hey, come on, man. You went on a date with Yusuke. Thought what we had was special. No date for you, Ryuji. You were being way too mean to my new waifu. Okay, retro game set. Gambling, going on. Retro gambling game. Playing could build the charm to not give up. Okay, cool. Um, I feel like this seems like something I should get. Let's do it. Give me my charm game, old man. Yeah. Thank you! Don't call me old man anymore! I'm young and hip with all the ladies. Oh, Futaba-chan. I didn't know Futaba lived here, too. We might have passed by her without even knowing. I don't think she ever leaves the house. Are we meeting up at the hideout, or are you hoping to get a little catnap in? Never, Morgana. I will never get a little catnap in during the day. Let's meet with the others. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Yo. When are we going to charge into Futaba's room? There's no point thinking it over. We just got to do things. Thinking always screws things up, right guys? Just like how I never think before yelling loudly about us being Phantom Thieves. It always works out perfectly in the end. Well, I got the calling card, so let me know when you decide. Now then. This is different from past cases. We'll be handing the calling card directly to Futaba herself. Once we give it to her, we'll head straight into her palace. There won't be any time for prep work in between, so make sure you're ready beforehand. Yeah. Okay. Let's hold a meeting first. Hey! Futaba can do something about Medjet, right? We need to pull this off no matter what. The cleanse the cleanse Medjet announced will be on August 21st, but we might want to finish before then. We won't be able to get past that door in the palace if she doesn't let us in her room, right? Then we'll have to get in and hand her the calling card, even if we have to force ourselves in. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, let's send the calling card. Okay. Are you sure we're ready to go? Hell yeah. Once Utaba sees the calling card, we'll need to head straight into our palace. Is that okay? Oh, um, really? We usually get like overnight or something. Okay, let me rethink this. I think I might be okay, actually. I think I still have a bunch of potions. So, uh, yeah, I have a bunch of potions. I updated all my armor. Uh, never mind. I think I'm okay. Okay. Are you sure we're ready to go? Once Futaba sees the calling card, we'll need to head straight to her palace. Yeah, I know. Now I know. Oh. Oh, so you're set on doing this. Looks like it's my turn to unlock the entrance. Forgive me, chief. That aside. How will we convince Futaba to let us into her room, though? Even boss is forbidden entry. We'll be honest. We'll co we'll coax her. I don't know. Um, we'll be honest. Honesty is always the best thing, right? Yes, that is the best course of action. Oh? You know, you know a method? I think it's quite straightforward. Futaba doesn't know what we're doing inside her palace, correct? Hence, if we tell her we've come to steal her heart, she'll surely open the door and let us inside. Huh? Wait, that's it? Futaba wants to have a change of heart. After all, she contacted us for that express purpose. That desire should lead her to open the door as well. You're right. Our feelings, our feelings should get through if we just try to talk to her. <laughs> All right, I believe in Futaba. Come on, let's get this done. You've been the biggest jerk to Futaba the whole time, Ryuji. You made her try to beat us up like six times in the palace. Mm -hmm. An eyeball, what's this? When did it get on here? Huh? Oh no. Whoa, <laughs> that's weird. 
Who are you? I am the other you. Not used to them uh, seeing, seeing their shadow self. That's pretty crazy. Is this some kind of hallucination? It's different from usual. I look good. Hey, yeah, you do, girl. How long will you continue blaming yourself and shutting yourself away from the world? <laughs> blaming myself for what? For your mother's death. Don't you think it's time you grasp the truth of that moment? What happened before your eyes? What happened to your mother? The truth. Why did you choose to rely on the Phantom Thieves? That's... Are you simply going to shut yourself in and do nothing? Are you going to avert your eyes from the true answer? Uh, man, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't expect this to happen. I guess she might just let us in anyways. Like, yeah, I talked to my Egyptian ghost, so I'm good. You guys can change my heart whenever. Uh, if so, I will kill them in your world. Yeah. So now she's got to decide if she wants to keep running or not. I... what should I do? We're sorry for sneaking in so many times, boss. <laughs> no, we're not. There's no mistaking it. This is the same door as in the palace. Oh, <laughs> it's got the cute little emoji on it, too. Hello, Futaba. You're there, aren't you? Please, answer us. I doubt she'd answer. Alibaba, we know you're there. It doesn't matter if it's through chat messaging, just answer us. Here we go. You should have told me you were going to come here. In order to steal your heart, we need you to open this door. We can't change your heart otherwise. Please let us in. I'm not mentally prepared. <laughs> you just texted us today, like, hurry the hell up. Now it's all like, no, I'm not prepared. Make up your mind. You have to do this. Get ready. Get ready right now, then. It's too sudden. The other you within your heart told us to have you open it. Deep down, you want to open this door, don't you? Yeah. The other me? Right. We're trying to uphold our promise, but you're the one resisting us. Give me some time. Ten seconds. <laughs> That's too short. At least minutes, please. Fine, but if boss comes home, we'll kick down the door and enter if we must. Time's up, Alibaba. Yeah, I don't know if she's gonna go through with it. I feel like, feel like she's not. That's pretty weird she saw her uh, other version, though. Is it just because she's so used to hallucinating? All right, I'll open it. Oh, nice. We need to change her cognition. Better to be completely safe than sorry. Yeah. So she has to be the one to invite us in. Futaba, please open the door. Yay! All right, let's go in. Oh, it's so small. What is this? <laughs> so trashy. Not artistic at all. Medical science, information technology, biology, psychology. We these are all technical books. Huh. She keeps herself cooped up in a room like this all the time? Yeah, seriously, it's so trashy. Where's Futaba? So small, too. Where could she be hiding? Under the bed? Oh, wait, there's a closet. The closet? <laughs> yeah. She'll shut herself in to the bitter end. Hmm? Poor thing. Even if that door's opened up, we'll get stopped again inside. I bet a fence or something formed right in front of the treasure now. Yeah. Th th this makes no sense. Explain yourself. It's kind of confusing. Whoa, she talked. We needed to change your cognition. Unless we do so, we can't steal your heart. I highly doubt she would understand it, even if we explained it to her. Yeah. So basically, my cognition is being a hindrance, keeping you away from the core of my cognitive world. <laughs> or maybe she's just really smart and she'll get it immediately. Huh? She understood it? Mm. Why do you know about that? Who are you? <sighs> Why'd you call yourself Alibaba and make things more complicated? Hmm. If you wanted help, you could have just asked for it. 
Because I was embarrassed. Uh, embarrassed? Huh? Oh, m my bad. I didn't catch that. Because <sighs> I was embarrassed. <laughs> Read between the lines, dumbass. I think I get it. Asking someone for help isn't that easy. Yeah. Futaba, can you tell us more? How do you know about the cognitive world? Yeah, seriously. Because I knew about it. <laughs> I'm just smart like that, okay? Oh, that reminds me. Boss was talking about cognition or something before, right? You think this is related to how he was getting grilled by that one lady? Okay. So she knows about the metaverse? I kind of didn't get that the first time. Was she looking into it because of the psychotic breakdowns or whatever? Interesting. I kind of uh, was slow picking up on that. Once they uh, said it, I kind of thought, um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why it took me a second to get that. Perhaps her mother was researching this cognitive science that was mentioned? Interesting. Cognitive science with a PSI in front? Less science, more supernatural? That's important. <laughs> well, that certainly got her attention. It seems we're on the right track. I like her voice. It's kind of dorky sounding. So, cognitive science. Futaba, what was your mother working on? Hmm. Please tell us. What happened? She's not answering. Yeah. Shouldn't we do this later? She seems to have gone through some shit in the past. Yeah, maybe we could get more answers afterwards. True. She did say things like die. Yeah. Hold on. Futaba-chan, did you really kill your mother? Whoa, you moron! Wasn't her death an accident? What actually happened? Yeah, seriously. Maternity neurosis? Is that really true? Is that even a thing? I've never heard of that before. On. We saw what your heart is like, but we still can't figure anything out. The mother that Boss told us about is completely different from your cognition. That's what I was thinking too. She doesn't seem anything like uh, what Boss was saying. Like, he seemed to describe her as being like a good person. But yeah, she didn't seem all that nice in uh, her palace or in her hallucinations for that matter too. We want to hear the truth from your mouth. My mom was... Aww. One who killed her was... Aww. It's possible that she can't remember because her heart has become distorted. Yeah. Like what Morgana was saying. Her memories are distorted. I'm so sorry, Futaba-chan. I, um... A lot happened, so... I'm sorry. But yeah, I guess I was stealing the treasure, though, will allow her to remember properly, at least. There! Huh. Now steal it! <laughs> Cute. <laughs> What's gotten into you all of a sudden? C come on! Hurry it up! Uh -huh. We did come to steal your heart, but it, it's not really done right here at this moment. It doesn't really work like that. All you really had to do was open that closet door. It seemed like she kind of uh, knew a little bit about the metaverse, though. I'm a little confused on that. Does she know about it or not? I'm sorry we made you jump to conclusions. You don't have to be like that. <laughs> Cute. I see. Huh? Now come back out. She went back in. What's the meaning of this? Did, did you guys trick me? No, please listen. There's a reason we had to do this. She's aware of the cognitive world, but it seems she doesn't understand how a change of heart occurs. Yeah, that's what I was like a little confused on. It was like, I thought we established she knew about like the metaverse, but um, it also seems like she doesn't really know how it works. Yeah, when she sent the card initially too, she didn't seem to know how it worked at all either. I guess they were implying that her mom was uh, looking into it as well. So I guess she learned from there. Very interested to find out what happened with her mom. Um, Futaba, how much do you know about the cognitive world? Feel like there's gotta be a twist of some sort. I know that there's another world based on cognition, but I don't know how to get there. Okay. Can you guys go there? You said you saw my heart earlier. I guess that makes more sense as to why she saw her shadow self earlier too. Hey, it would be kinda cool if we took her there. She could confront her shadow and all that crap. It'd be epic. Yes, that's right. 
how do you do it? We use a smartphone app. <laughs> that sounds fake. An app? <laughs> Seriously? Yes. By entering the required information, we can go to the cognitive world. A name, a place, and a distortion. Those three. So in this case, Futaba Sakura, Sojiro Sakura's house, and... <laughs> You're gonna make us all go there right now on accident, aren't you, Ryuji? Futaba? Eh. Yeah. You don't happen to have this app, do you? <laughs> okay, I thought for a second he was gonna actually activate it. Uh, I don't. Thank goodness. Okay, then. Can you take me with you, too? No. What should we do? Let's take her. Why are you even asking? Of course she can't come with us. Come on. I'll leave it to you, then. Good. And you better not forget about our promise, all right? Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. The treasure's not going to appear if we don't have her read this. A calling card? Yeah, I'm curious to see what her says. I feel like uh, her sin is sloth. It's the one you prepared. Read it. I can't read it. It's too dark. <laughs> you could just come out. Come on, come out. It's embarrassing. Aw, no, you're cute. What? I'll make sure she reads it, so you guys go on ahead. Futawa, make sure you read it, okay? Okay. Let's see. Futaba Sakura has committed a great sin of drowning in sloth. Oh, nice! Got it! Thus, we will rob every last bit of those distorted desires. <sighs> Here we go. No. I'm going to die. 99%. Good. <laughs> Still in here. Kitty, you again? <laughs> oh, whoa, you look kind of freaky. Oh my god. It's like your face is melting off. Ugh. You're still cute, though. I like her a lot. <laughs> She's really quirky. The palace's security level is so high, I can feel it from all the way out here. Butaba seemed totally up for getting her heart stolen. What's up with this? Uh, something about this place is really unusual. Different than the usual calling card thing, I guess? Either way, there's only one thing for us to do now that we've sent the calling card. Take her down. Hell yeah, no matter what we gotta face, we're gonna take that treasure for sure. Okay, nice. Let's see, where are the treasures that I missed? It was in Chamber of Sanctuary, there was one. Oh no, I didn't make any lockpicks! No, damn it! Ah, everything's ruined. Dang it. Ah, man, I'm so sad. I'm never gonna get that grimy gear that's probably in there. Damn it. Okay, let's just do it. Hey, I hope she read the calling card. I mean, after all the trouble we went through, she damn well better have read it. Here we go. Alright, it's open. Well, yeah, Futaba-chan opened the door herself. Anyways, the treasure is up ahead. Let's finish this. Here we go. Shining pedestal. I wonder what her treasure is going to be, now that I think about it. Incredible. So, this is the place that represents Futaba's room. Yep, this is the heart of a hacker, alright. So much nerdy tech shit. Anyways, where's the treasure? I'm getting a strong signal from above us. The, the treasure has definitely manifested. There's no knowing what may lie ahead, so let's be vigilant as we push towards the treasure. Yeah, okay. Oh, whoa. Oh my gosh, another labyrinth area. It never ends. Ah, really? There's guys here? Balls. Kinda had a feeling that might be the case though. Dang, that's a pretty big area. It's different than your normal palace for sure. Honestly, I don't really have too much of an interest in fighting these guys. Lifestone. Here we go. Yeah, I just kinda wanna ignore all those other guys if I can. I don't like getting my HP so low right before right before a big boss battle. 
Joker. There's no doubt the treasure is right past this point. What made it await us within? No matter what it is, we need to be ready for it. Let's do this. Yes. We're coming to save you, Futaba. If I use this, I can change my heart. Oh, does she have the app now? Vocal input. Um. Fu. Fu. <gasps> Utaba Sakura? Oh, it does seem like she has the app now. Yes! I want to see you face off against your shadow. Sojiro Sakura's house. <laughs> Did you hack somewhere to get the app? <laughs> Hacked Igor's server. And then... Something about distortion. 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 Hmm? Did you do it? Not again. Oh, uh, the hallucinations. I was gonna say, I didn't think she said, uh, the right thing. Aw. That's right. I remember now. You do? Back when they were here, I... I messaged Doom in the chat, and... There we go. Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. Here we go. I can go in now? Yeah, you can. No! You're a murderer! You're the one who killed her! It's your fault! Don't come near me! It's your fault! I can't take this anymore! Beginning navigation. You got this! I like her outfit, too. I guess it's just PJs, but, you know. They're nice PJs. Hell... This ain't what I was imagining. Were you expecting a mountain of treasure or something of that sort? Hell yeah, man. I just do this to get rich. There is that over there. Tomb. That's it? I feel like it's gonna be like a mummy version of her or something. The treasure must be inside. All right, let's take it. Be careful. T treasure! Uh, here we go. There's something here. I got a bad feeling about this. Is it Futaba? Be weird to go inside your own cognitive world. Is that even possible? Uh, maybe. Oh, whoa. Oh, no, it's her mom. I was kind of thinking no. that might be the boss battle. It's not Futaba. Don't tell me. Ah, oh, she needs to be here to fight her. What? Oh, whoa. This is insane. Oh my god. Oh man. If it's not a shadow, then what is it? The hallucination. It's yeah. Uh. Here it comes! <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, I hope she can come and like fight this thing with us. Hopefully that would help her get over it. Do not approach the Pharaoh's tomb. Ugh. Misfortune will fall upon you. <laughs> this is a scary boss. Oh, look at it fly about. We can't reach it like this. You've got no other option. Let's take it down with our guns and skills. Oh no, I never update my guns. Okay, yeah, still use personas. Okay, let's let's see what your thing is. Beast that rules the palace. Okay. Yeah, hey, it makes sense since she's like the pharaoh of it, but this is the beast that actually rules it. Oh man, you're freaky looking. Half lion with angel wings and mom's face. And boobs. Of course. Okay. Let's try this. I feel like bless my work too, since she's like a ghost and crap like that. Let's do medium. I kind of doubt she'll be weak to anything, but I think it's good to just do these, just in case. Oh my god, I'm doing like no damage to her. Great. Oh my god, literally nothing. Oh god. 
Okay. Um. Go down. Come on, little starfish. It all seems to do the same. Increase my accuracy and evasion. That way she might not hit me if I if she tries to attack. Okay, increase my defense too. Just make me really OP. You guys said to use these more, so I'll see if that works out. Uh, we're gonna no. Wing blast. Uh oh. Oh god, dang it. Okay. Cure my dizzy. Okay, yeah, you can do that as well. Dagoy. Okay, let's use an item. Hey. Here we go. Sorry. Try to keep everybody as full of HP as I possibly Feel can. Do it, Makoto. Ah, oh, dang it, I'm weak to that? On, oh, God. Good one, it's a good thing I increased my defense and stuff. Ugh, what are you How doing? Far did it fly up? What's it gonna do? Oh god, we're screwed! Don't tell me. Is it gonna dive attack us? What do we do in the meantime? Alright. Time for a counterattack! Oh god. <laughs> um, I guess I'll just guard. Have somebody else heal. Um, I guess we're all kind of okay on HP. Not great, but not like awesome either. Let's do one of these. Raises attack and lowers evasion. Raise evasion and lowers attack. Ah, eh, whatever, I'll do this. Just want my HP to be full. Okay. Okay, just guard. This is scary. I don't like this. Just guard again. Okay, keep guarding. Keep guarding. <laughs> For some reason, putting our arm in front of us slightly helps us a lot. It's still not attacking? Defense reverted. I'm just gonna keep guarding. I don't know what she's gonna do. Oh no. It's not really like I can do anything in the meantime. Oh shit. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. I should have bought more of these things. I did not realize this boss was gonna be so intense. The other ones haven't been that bad. This isn't good. I can't tell at all when it's gonna attack. You can't tell. Mona, you've got to tell us. Oh my god, we're so screwed. I can't help it. There are some things that even I can't do. Oh man. Futaba, want to show up and save us? Oh, thank god. So this is inside my heart. Neat. Ah, oh, that's so cool. She gets to enter her own cognitive world. I didn't think it'd be like this. Oh, hey. Huh? She gets to see these things. Uh. Do you remember? This is the suicide note. Oh, yeah. The men in black suits read it right after mom died. That's, That's correct. correct. Look at the next one. Yeah. This. Aw. This is... When mom jumped in front of that car. That's right. Now the next. No. Aw. Don't run. Come on, fight back! I thought you made your mind up after you talked to the Phantom Thieves. Even Shadow Futaba is rooting for you. Okay. Oh, look. It's me complaining. Mom scolded me for bothering her. Yes. I knew it. It was me who killed mom. No. I was a bad daughter. I weighed her down and she hated me for it. Didn't even ask her for anything like crazy. It's just like I remember. Aw. Are you sure? I love how Shadow Futaba's like the strong one in this situation. I thought it'd be the opposite. Like, Shadow Futaba would be the one who's like, it's all your fault, it's all your fault. And then Futaba would have to stand up against her. But she's instead like, come on, get it together. Remember everything. Don't avert your eyes. When did this happen? Just a little before Mom died. <laughs> Shadow Futaba is so helpful. I whined about wanting to go on a family trip. Aww. But she scolded me and said no. Was that all she said? Mom said, 
Unless, uh, the shadow's trying to make her worse somehow. I'm too busy right now. I need to finish my cognitive research as soon as possible. And what did you do? I threw a tantrum. Told her she thought her research was more important than I was. That's when she scolded me. What did she say afterwards? There was more. I don't know, maybe Shadow Futaba is trying to make it worse. Uh, did she say... My research is almost over. Once it's finished, we can go wherever you like. I'm sorry I've left you alone for so long, Futaba. Please try to understand, though. This research is really important. I need to complete it. Even if it costs me my life. So it was the research that killed her? Did she hate you? She kill herself to, like, continue the research? Because she knew about the cognitive world, but she didn't know how to get there? Did she try to get there by killing herself? I'm not really sure. That might- <laughs> that might be a dumb theory. She didn't? Yeah. What? She smiled. Aww. My head, it hurts, which is true. You're one of my boys. Thanks, Shada Futaba. You're the best girl. Huh? It's calling me? It makes sense that uh, she would misremember, though. A lot of children do tend to, like, blame things on themselves. So I can see how she would just completely misremember the whole scenario. Doing shit to it. Huh? Yes, come save us, please. You came into your cognitive world? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The person themselves coming into their own palace? If that happens. Huh. Oh no. Is something bad's gonna happen? You her. Oh no. Don't you say something? Uh. It's your fault. It's my fault. Oh no. It's my fault that mom. Ah oh, man, she's like completely reverting. Wait. Is that monster her mother? Yep. Futaba's desires and guilt must have distorted her cognition of her. Yeah. The wish that her mother was alive again is mixed in as well. Along with those eerie jeers. You are nothing but a demon who stood in my way. I wish you had never been born. Just like completely distorted what she was saying. Yeah. What does she mean by that? Could she be talking about cognitive science? Yeah. You're going to die. There is no meaning to your life. No one needs you. Come on, Futaba, awaken. Take her down. Nobody cares about me. We care. I should never have had Futaba. She was always such a bother. Is that her dad? It seems you caused your mother a great deal of trouble, Futaba chan. Oh, that's the guy who read the suicide note? Did she distort what he was saying, or did he actually say that? Was he just like a dick? She must have had some kind of maternity neurosis. Has to be like distorted memories. Surely nobody would say that to a child. Uh. Uh. Hey, we're gonna be in deep shit if this keeps up. So, because she thinks she killed her mother, and because she thinks she deserves to die, Futaba gave birth to a palace where her mother wants her dead? Okay. Futaba chan, look! There's no way that monster is your mother! Yeah. It's just an illusion you created! You got this! Awaken! 
find your persona and all that crap. B but she never abused you, did she? Boss told us. He said she did her best to raise you alone. Yeah, he made it sound like they had a decent relationship. Isn't this a false memory that's been imprinted upon you? A false memory? Yeah. Ugh. You made your mother destroy all her research, Fatava Chan. Surely this is distorted too. There cannot be a person who would actually say that. If there is, I want to kick this guy's ass. She had worked so hard on this well. She lost her mind. It's all because of you. It's your fault! Mom, I... Yeah. I, it's her shadow! Hey, you know, Shadow Futaba's actually been helping out a lot. She's a good girl. Futaba Sakura, remember! Oh, here we go. You're the reason she committed suicide. You were just getting in the way of her research. Oh, never mind. I thought you were helping for a little bit. You're not. Why did you think it was suicide? Because of the note. Exactly. The men in black suits read her suicide note to you. And what was written on it? All of her complaints about me. Yes. The shock and the pain led you to avert your eyes. Did, like, the men make it seem like it was a suicide note when it wasn't? Like, were they working with her and... She killed herself because of her work, but they wanted to kind of pin it on Futaba? That's really fucked up if that's the case. But they kept reading it aloud in front of your relatives. Oh god. Think hard. Was that suicide note real? No, I guess not. Would the mother you loved so much truly have written that? I can't tell if you're good or not, Shadow Futaba. Did she ever say such horrible things to you? No! Okay, so it was those guys that uh, just made that up. She actually did remember that part right. God, that's so fucked up. Can we can we go kill those guys? Not even change their heart. Just just flat out kill them. She scolded me whenever I had tantrums, but she cared for me. Yeah. Then what about the suicide note? They made that shit up. A total lie! Yeah. You were used. They forged her suicide note and laid the blame of her death upon you. Okay. They trampled all over your young heart. Get mad. Don't forgive those rotten adults. Yeah, seriously. Who are these people? I want to beat them up. It's because I couldn't face myself. Poor mom's death. God, that's so messed up. Even then, why did they have to yell at me like that? That's just so, so messed up. I cannot get over that. Like, how could you live with yourself trying to pin something like that on a little girl? What denies you is an illusion. Yes, get your persona. A curse put upon you by the heartless. Yeah. You knew from the very beginning, and yet you cowered in fear. Oh, that's right. I knew, but I. It's all your fault. This time you. Will you die as you are told? Hell no! Who will you obey? First words spat out by a seething illusion? Or the truth within your own soul? It's your fault! It's all your fault! I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore! Hell yeah! And I won't be led astray by others' voices either! Do it! I'm going to trust my own eyes and my own heart to distinguish the truth from the lies. There's no way you're my mom! You're just a fake created by those horrid adults! Yes! I'll... I'll never... I'll never forgive them! Do it! Join us! Oh, I like her so much! Oh, it's like a UFO almost. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is your persona? Oh no. Cynicals and anime always feel weird together. Ah. 
Oh, cool. I get a little tech outfit. <laughs> Gotta go. Nice. Yeah, sweet. Oh, I'm so happy she joined us. Hoping she really helps us out, because this battle seemed impossible this beforehand. Is world, right? Hacking into my distortion should be no problem for me. <laughs> it's like a little spaceship. Nice. A, a ballista? Oh. Shoot her Shoot with it. it? Down with this. Then beat the crap out of it. Hell yeah! Ah, I get it now. Let's go. Let's fire the ballista. I should send someone to shoot the sphinx to the ballista. Hell yes. You want me to I'll shoot it. You want me to fire it? I'll shoot. You want me to fire it, right? Okay. Um. You want me? You want me to fire Makoto. it, right? Roger. Roger. I'm on it. Feel like uh, haven't been using nuclear all that much in the palace in general, so. Hopefully it'll be, you know, the same here. Okay, um... I don't feel like there's really anything that's gonna work on you, to be honest. Let's go. I'll try it just in case. Why not? I did a little bit better than I think some of the other ones. Uh... Yeah, it seemed like fire did pretty decent. Come on, Makoto, any moment now. Oh, God. Ah, damn it. Fucking once more. Okay. Uh, Come on, Makoto. Hurry it up a little bit, if you could. Ah, uh, damn it. I'll just use another one. We're a little low. Oh, God. Takes out so much. Ugh, gosh. Like, we need to stay alive for a little while. Oh my gosh. It's like, yeah, even... Ah, yes, do it! We got this. Please, Makoto, please let this work. She is so OP. Oh man, that didn't do that much damage. Hopefully it'll... Oh, oh hey, nice! Yes! I can barely understand what she's saying. Happy uh, it brought her down here at least. Hopefully we can actually do some damage now. Shut up. You're not my mom. Yeah. Kick her ass, Futaba. You're just a monster born from my own weakness. Everyone, keep attacking it. Don't let up. Yeah. Let's go. Nice. Let's get her! <laughs> she's so big! She can't even fit on the screen. Oh my god, she's so huge though. It's freaking crazy. I want to wait until Morgana's turn so he can heal me and Yusuke both at the same time, but I don't know if it's going to be good or not to do that. Uh, it might be a little bit of, I don't know, a risk, but I'll take it. Just in case. There we go. Okay. Morgana, do, do the thing. Yeah, I was like, I prefer not to use on my turn. Okay. There we go. Got that, Yusuke. Nice job. Seems like physical does do the best on her. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Let's do this. God, that one takes up so much HP. Ah, oh, no. She's gonna get back up. Damn it. Thanks, Futaba. Ugh. Dreadful scream. Oh, no. Good. Glad that missed. Although... Yeah. Okay, they didn't do as bad as it did before, I think. Ballista, right? <laughs> oh, yes! Most definitely. No, shoot. I need you. Ballista is really heavy first. Ah, dang it. it. You want me I'll shoot it. Okay, I'll have you shoot it, Yusuke. Kind of wanted to send Makoto again, but it seems like she might be a little little weak. Okay, I'll just have Morgana heal, heal us again. Um, I think Fire did the best. Ravage! 
Full Leon was in my party. Make sure we're all at full HP for as long as we can. Oh no. But, God dang it. Freaking Joker being weak. Oh, please no. Oh, god dang it. Please, please no. Oh my gosh. Sucks when they do that. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Almost dead. Barely made it. <laughs> Might just guard from now on. Oh my gosh. Fucking terrifying. Oh man. Okay. Um. Sucks I have to use, like, heal on myself for one of these turns, you know? Got this, Morgana. Oh, we're all dizzy, too. You bitch. Oh my god. Oh, nice. How much to do just to do a normal attack? Oh, nice. I don't even need to use those fancy ones. I can just do normal attacks. I didn't realize that. I think they actually did less than some of the good ones. Dang. That's depressing. Actually, Yusuke's attack is really good. Yeah, he does a lot of damage. Okay. Let's do one of these just in case. I feel like I'm like abusing these almost, but... I don't know. I just want to stay at full HP the whole time. Okay, good. Got another round. Take her down. <laughs> That's so... That sucks so bad. Oh my gosh. I could have just been attacking normally. I didn't need to use those fancy attacks. These actually do better. Oh, man. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Ugh. Uh, please miss. Oh, nice. Oh wait, inflicted with despair. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. It's back at it again. I can tell with my persona. Oh, nice. I'll let you know when the enemy's approaching. Want to come out and help, Futaba? You're still okay. It's far away right now. Nope. Okay. Okay. We'll keep going. Please. Okay, should I send someone to shoot the stinks of the ballista? That ballista is really heavy. You'd like me once more. Ah, damn it! I can't send like Morgana. Ah, no. Are you guys gonna like fuck it up? Like me once more. Oh, that's right, you stay. Damn it! Oh, I think that screwed me over. Damn you, Morgana. Okay. Come on, Morgana. Suck it up. Oh, she just gone. Okay, just guard. Okay, do you have any of those? Increase defense. Increase my defense. It's coming in hot. Okay. Please, Yusuke, don't mess this up. Please. Can I increase my defense even more? Okay, no offense to you guys, but I'm just gonna have Makoto increase my defense again. Okay, Morgana, guard. Sorry, Makoto. <laughs> Every everybody needs a sacrifice. Still love you. Oh, it just extended it. Okay. Oh wow. That really helped increasing my defense, I think. Yeah, because Makoto. Makoto was kinda screwed. Okay. Okay. I was fallen ally with full okay. HP. You got this, Makoto. Oh man, we need to increase all of our defense, don't we? Okay, increase Let's your defense go. now. Mine, I think, is good for like six turns or something. There we go. Oh god dang it. Fucking Morgana, dude. Okay. I was just about to increase his defense, too. There. Okay, just really want to go ahead and get that taken care of. Increase okay. Morgana's defense. I am so sick of us getting criticals. Up. She's not coming yet. Here we go. Okay. Um. I still have my uh, thing on, so I should be okay. Just guard. She's not coming yet. You're still okay. 
Okay, um... Dang it, I should've went ahead and increased our defense in the meantime. Oh, your defense is reverted? Ah, damn it. Okay, um... Increase your defense again. I think that might be better than guarding, actually. I think. Okay, guard! <laughs> Let's guard. Guard. Yeah, I can see what you guys mean about uh, having those those equipped. Right. Definitely helps out a lot. Please don't screw this up, Yusuke. Please. Yes! Oh, I knew I could trust you. Okay, let's just try and kill her. I think I'm close. Come on, Morgana, you got this. Ah, oh, so close! Uh... Yes, hold up. I cannot understand what she's saying at all. It just sounds like Pajama. No matter what you say to me, I will live. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it! Fire! Yes! Oh, thank god. <laughs> I was a little scared for this boss battle. Had a couple of close calls. But she's dead, thank god. Oh, lots of money. Lots of experience, too. Nice! Yay! You're in our party officially now! I was kind of wondering about that. Yes, the Neko Shogun, the best boy, has gained a new skill. Invigorate. Oh man, I'm so happy I got that one done. Futaba. Damn, you're freaking incredible! <laughs> I like your outfit too. All sci-fi-y. Whoa, what in the world? Your badass new outfit. Ooh, it's totally skin tight. <laughs> I love her little, uh, her mask. Oh, that's cool. It looked like a alien bug hybrid. Oh, good. Another thing showed up? Mom? Huh? Futaba, thank you for choosing to remember the real me. I'm sorry for being so selfish. Aw, this is sweet. Mom. Oh, this makes me sad though. I don't know. I'm really close to my mom, so so this is like struck a chord with me. Don't come over here. This isn't where you're supposed to be, is it? But I finally got to see you again. Aw, oh, this is sad. Are you being selfish again? I'm gonna cry. Is this like the real mom? This is sad. I'm like tearing up a little bit. I don't know. This is like really struck a chord with me. Oh, I'm such a baby. <laughs> I guess it just feels like her ghost because she's finally remembering her, right? But I don't know. It almost feels like she's talking to her real mom after it happened. Um, I, I love you, mom. Oh, this is so sad. Oh my gosh. I like. I can't tell if I'm like tearing up because I'm like happy or sad. I'm happy she got to see the real her. I'm such a baby. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Oh man, sometimes I tear up really easily. Oh man. I love you too, Futaba. Yeah. Now, you should get going. I don't know, it's just so sweet to see her finally remember her mother the right way. Oh man. I kind of felt like I might tear up. I was tearing up a little bit uh, just from some of the stuff earlier. One of my best friends uh, struggles pretty badly with like a depression and suicidal thoughts. So that already kind of strikes a chord with me. I'm really close to my mom too, so imagining having to go through um, this is just, I don't know, horrible to think about. It's like a nightmare scenario, I feel like, almost. Oh, right. Majid. Where are you going? Home. I know how to use the nav now. <laughs> huh. Oh, right. She's a genius. She left. That girl marches to the beat of her own drum, doesn't she? 
<laughs> I like her a lot. She's really cool. Like you're one to talk. <laughs> you guys are both weirdos. But if we have her on our side. Wait, what about her treasure? Oh yeah, we never even saw that. Oh yeah, we almost forgot. It's empty? Yeah, I guess because she kind of fixed herself. I guess it's gone. Uh. Oh no. What's going on? Wasn't it supposed to be here? <laughs> Don't ask me. I never know what's going on. Futaba herself was the treasure. Oh. And she's gone, so of course it's empty. Shoot. This is bad. Oh yeah, that makes sense since it's like a casket. What's the matter? Not only did the real person come into her own palace, she awakened to a persona while she was here. This place could collapse any second now. We've accomplished our mission if her palace is crumbling. We should hurry back to reality. That would be wise. Hey, cutscene! Nice. <laughs> Morgana's face. Oh my god! We're all gonna fucking die! <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, isn't the desert gonna collapse too, almost? Because it's a part of her palace as well. I can stick the binary. Breaking two. Ah, oh, that was cool. Hey. You guys still alive? Barely. I thought I was gonna die and... Uh, hey! Will you let go already? <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about Yusuke. <laughs> I don't really think he's into anybody like that. Not again. Poor thing. What was that sound? Hmm? What are you guys doing out here? Oh, I can't wait to see uh, Sojourner's reaction to uh, Futaba coming out and uh, interacting with people again. That's gonna make me tear up again. God dang it, I'm such a baby. Oh, um... That reminds me, where's Futaba? What about Futaba? Oh, um... <laughs> kind of hard to explain. Yes! We came all this way, so how about we enjoy some coffee? Oh, that's a great idea! That's fine, but... I'm not thirsty, though. Yusuke, just play along, come on. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Oopsie, my hand slipped and accidentally punched you. My bad. I have some business to take care of, so you guys go on ahead. Are you gonna get Futaba? Please do. Uh, okay, gotcha. Let's go see Futaba. Yeah. Aw. Futaba? She's outside of the house, so that's a good sign. Can you hear me? Please say something! Could this be our fault? Is it because we defeated her monstrous mother? Yeah. She like brain dead almost or something? No. That was nothing more than a cognitive being created in her mind. Destroying it wouldn't cause memory loss or put a physical burden on her. What should we do? Is she pranking us? Hey, don't you know a doctor? Oh yeah, it's Ty. You do? Can you contact them? She just acting, I guess, like mindless right now, basically? Like, uh, not really cohesive, I guess. A house call is going to cost you, you know. How much will it be? That was a joke. <laughs> so, um, how is her condition? Her pulse, breathing, temperature, and blood pressure are all normal. No ocular abnormalities, either. That's good. I think it took the others a little while to uh, adjust at first. Like, they were all kind of uh, brain dead for a little bit. I'm not sure why, but it seems this girl is in some kind of light stupor. Okay. Furthermore, 
She lacks muscle for her age. I doubt she has much stamina either. Oh, yeah. I see. The rebound from her awakening was too strong. There may have been too many abnormal circumstances. We simply cannot keep quiet about this. We should let Boss know. Oh, gosh. Wouldn't he figure out our identities? <laughs> yeah. Still, we should tell him, shouldn't we? Uh, let's go get him. Let's keep quiet. Let's wait for now. Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we should tell him. Dang it, I was hoping for, like, a tearful reunion between them, and she would just walk out and be like, I'm better now, Dad. Then I'd tear up again, like a little baby. But nope. Okay. Um, let's tell him, I guess. Hmm. I think that would be best. Yeah. Letting him know is really the only option we have. I guess it can't be helped now. <laughs> Does Ty not? <laughs> I feel like Ty would have to know who we are too by the end of this conversation. <laughs> you guys are talking about being phantom thieves to a cat, pretty much. Just keep the circumstances that led up to this a secret, okay? Hey, Futaba? Hey! Uh. <sighs> <sighs> Oh dear. That sucks. Uh, um, about Futaba. Hmm? Well, why do you guys look so down? Futaba-chan's condition. What, this? It happens every so often. Oh. Huh? She must have used up all her energy. It's like she ran out of batteries. <laughs> okay, so you're not gonna worry. That's good. I think it happens because she doesn't get enough exercise. What? <laughs> she stays like this for a few days whenever this happens. Oh, dang. I'll make sure she gets plenty of rest. Here, keep an eye on her. I'm going to go close the store. Well, that's good. It's hard to describe how I feel right now. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty frustrated. Yeah. I'm glad she's okay. But what are we going to do about Majed? Is she just going to wake up at the end of the deadline? Uh, oh. Never mind. She's up! Hey! Mm, Majed. <sighs> I don't know if you're going to stay awake for long. Tired. Going to sleep for a bit. <laughs> going to sleep for 23 days. No big deal. She fell asleep <laughs> again? Utabachan! <sighs> a bit? How much is she planning on sleeping? We probably shouldn't wake her up either. Oh my god, is she really gonna sleep until the deadline? That's crazy. Man, I wanted to hang out with her. What to do? It's too late for us to find another hacker. I mean, I guess it makes sense though. All we can do is wait for her to wake up. Just what's Medjed gonna do? It's hard for me to even fathom what it could be. People have really been up in arms about the whole cleanse thing. To think a global hacker group would be targeting us. Should we just ignore them? <laughs> Perfect idea, Ryuji. If only we could. We have to act. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, sorry, my bad, dude. No matter how you look at it, we need a countermeasure. Our best bet would be Alibaba. But she may not be capable of it in her current state. I guess we could think of some other ways too then. Yes, it would be best to have as many solutions as possible. We still, well, we still got time, so let's come up with something good, okay? And <laughs> nah, man, I'm just gonna hang out with people. The chief is with her. I'm sure everything will be okay. Now we just gotta wait for Futaba to wake up. Although they left clues, hacker group Medjed has not made the target of their next attack clear. According to experts, there are many corporations that could be potential targets. Companies managing public transport and other utilities are pressured are pressured to take countermeasures. Medjet is so creepy. They're really making a big mess out of all of this. Hope it doesn't take up any of my days uh, trying to find out who they are. You must be tired after today. Let's go to sleep. Yep. Okay, nice. Let's see my AMs. Whatcha up to? Plans for today? What are your plans? What are you doing today? Oh, I'm so popular. Everyone loves me. Isn't that right, Morgana? 
Everyone hates you. They only hang out with you because I'm cute. All we can do now is wait and see what happens. There's no point in getting impatient now. There's still no response from the Phantom Thieves to Medjed. What do you make of this? Oh my god. Fucking Akechi on my screen. Most likely all because they're a bunch of little bitches. Most likely the Phantom Thieves simply don't have the means of confronting them. God, they're so powerless and so shitty. Oh my god. Oh my god, my Phantom Thieves hate boner is growing bigger with every second that I speak about it. Uh, Akechi, are you okay? Better than ever. <laughs> this is getting weird. After all, Medjet is quite different from anyone they've gone up against thus far. It seems their best option is to reveal their identities before more people are needlessly harmed. Oh my god, he's such a piece of shit. He really hit us where it hurts. We're going to beat them, though. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it for here. I've been recording for a really long time, so I'm not actually sure if this is going to be split up into one episode or two episodes. But yeah, I hope you guys are still enjoying the series. I appreciate all the nice comments and stuff I've gotten on it. And I look forward to playing more and getting to know Futaba and other characters in the future. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you real soon.